Hey, it's Ashley and I'm back with another haircut tutorial, so stay tuned if you want to see how to do an easy, quick, bald fade. I'm going to first start with my trimmers to create my guideline. Now, depending on the length of the client's hair before I start cutting it, depends on what I would go in with. So if his hair was a bit longer than this, I would debulk with my number three guard before creating my guideline. But I'm just going to create this guideline since his hair is pretty short already. And so, as you can see, whenever I am going in, I come up and I kind of lightly tap out that line so that whenever I fade, I can really just go in with my no guard on my clippers, closed, and have a smooth transition. So now I'm going in with my number one, and I am just going to blend this all the way up before I blend out my line from my trimmers. So first I'm going to go in and keep these flat on the head. And you can see my finger behind my clippers. I keep that there so that I kind of am stable and I can always keep fading the hair a little bit more than you would if you would just keep your clippers flat. So now I'm taking that one opened and I'm going sideways so that I can blend it. It's going to just give a better blend. And now I'm going to close my clippers all the way, no guard, and lightly tap out and fade this line from my trimmers. So I don't have much work to do here besides just tapping out this line. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then I like to slowly open my clippers, um, kind of like, instead of opening them all the way, I'll open them halfway and fade it up a little bit more. So now I'm fading, I'm going to fade this half and no guard, kind of in between less than a finger's length. Like, I'm not giving it a lot of room. And you can see I blended the beard just a little bit. You can just slightly open your clippers back and forth to blend that in. And right here I notice this heavy line. So I'm just going to work it out. And I know exactly what I'm in between. I'm in between my trimmers and a one. So I can fade really easily right into that. coming back around with my clippers all the way opened and you can see that completely takes out my line Now I'm going in with my half just to double check everything blended in between that one and my half. And his top was getting pretty long so we're just going to clean this up. Now I'm just going in, I kind of like to do a dry cut on straighter hair, it just gives me a better better vision for it. I can kind of manipulate it a little bit easier. But no one really enjoys a dry haircut with scissors, sadly, so I try not to keep it in my client's face for too long. And right here I'm just going to kind of point cut. He likes this side to kind of hang over.
and I don't really like to give more length to one side because they brush it over. I feel like that hangs a little too heavy. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to trim this from this point. I'm trimming everything from the length of the bangs and I felt like his calic was giving a little bit out of control so I will go in and clean that up. And so now my guide has already been created and so I'm going to follow that section by section throughout the haircut. My guide is on my... So I'm taking that entire guide I've created and I'm just following it all the way over towards the back of the head. And so whenever I'm taking that hair from the front and kind of pulling it back, it's going to keep it at an elevated angle to where when it falls back into the side, it's going to kind of have a taper and not be too heavy. So I definitely like to ask my clients before I make any changes. And so I just discussed with him, like, hey, you know, your calic back here is a little bit out of control. And I think we should clean it up. I think I can do something that'll help it. So that's kind of the point. And so I want to get the real length of this calic and I'm going to go in and wet it down. And I'm just double checking everything I dry cut. Now I'm just checking this corner on this other side. And so I'm, I'm always double checking in the mirror how his hair is falling. I don't ever want it to kind of not fall correctly. So I always double check, make sure it looks good. And back here, I'm just trying to get this angle right on this layover of the hair. So I'm looking at this calic and just look how much hair is right there. It's just a bit too much for the placement. If the calic was maybe higher on his head, I would leave it, but I really wanted to show y'all the work I would do with this. So I'm going to switch them over and I am going in. My comb at, is on the flat part of his head and I am just going in the circular motion of his calic. So... I'm brushing it back, checking out. I really don't want to take too much off of where it kind of comes over. I'm really not trying to change the haircut itself. I just want this calic kind of out of my way. So I am going in and keeping that circular motion and cutting everything off that does not sit right. So you see how low the calyx sits on the back of his head? Now, if it was more 
centered on towards the top of his head, it would work for this haircut and we could leave it long, but it just looks so much better for the shape of his head if we keep this shorter. And so I'm going in at this angle to really check everything, make sure it blends in together with this fade. Much better. So now, when it grows out, it's gonna grow out in the correct length, and I took a lot of that weight off, and I'm just gonna double check, make sure everything kinda goes into an angle towards the bangs on this side. And so now I'm gonna blow dry after I washed all the loose hair out. And so he likes to kind of brush it up and over. So I'm going to give some volume by kind of giving it a little brush in the opposite direction, checking this calic, making sure it falls good. And it does, thankfully, it sits really well. Sometimes they can be a little scary if you're nervous to cut too much and have it stick up but my client does style his hair every day so i really didn't worry too much about the grow out he's going to be back in two weeks and we're going to keep the calic up this time we kind of found a really good length for it so i'm going in with a wax I've really been obsessed with the wax lately, especially in blondes. It's not shiny, it's not too heavy, but it's tacky enough to weigh it down and keep it kind of where it needs to be. So my client was nice enough to let me film this haircut on his birthday. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please check out all my other ones. Thank you so much, guys. Hope to see you soon.